Have you ever heard of a man who could solve calculations faster than a computer before computers even existed? A man born in Africa, enslaved in America, yet gifted with a mind that shocked the world? Today, I'm bringing you the unbelievable true story of Thomas Fuller, the African slave they called the Virginia Calculator. The Virginia Calculator, a genius hidden in chains. Thomas Fuller was born in 1710 in West Africa, in what is now either Benin or Nigeria. Long before anyone in America ever heard his name, villagers already knew he had something special. He could count anything, goats, baskets, seeds, raindrops on a leaf. But at just 14 years old, his life was violently interrupted. He was captured, chained, and sold into slavery. Like millions of Africans, he was forced onto a ship to America. He arrived in Virginia in 1724 and became the property of a planter named Presley Cox. He never went to school. He never learned to read or write English. But the chains on his hands could not chain his mind. It didn't take long for stories to spread. That African man, he can calculate anything. Soon, everyone in the colony heard rumors of the enslaved man with a mathematician's mind. We've come to test your mind. Ask what you wish. How many seconds has a man lived? If he is 70 years, 17 days, and 12 hours old. 2 billion, 210 million, 500,000, 800. That cannot be correct. You must have miscounted. You forgot the leap years. They recalculated with leap years. Fuller was exactly right. All right, one more. If one bushel contains 32 quarts, each quart eight pints, how many pints in 15 bushels? 3,840 pints. No paper, no pencil, no schooling, just pure, God-given intelligence. News spread everywhere. Abolitionists used his story to show the world that enslaved Africans were not inferior. They were brilliant people denied opportunity. Thomas Fuller died in 1790. Newspapers called him a man of profound calculation, the like of whom scarcely exists. His story reminds us that genius has no color and greatness can grow even in the harshest soil. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and share it with someone who loves history, storytelling, and inspiration. I'm just getting started. More powerful stories are coming. See you in the next video.